All right, set your body up for the practice. Lying on the earth or the bed or the couch, wherever you can really start to soften. We are energetically just a day past the winter solstice, so officially into the winter season in the northern hemisphere or summer in the south. The moon is waning. And these next couple of weeks, we are dissolving the past year, the past season, the past lunar cycle, and dreaming the new cycles beginning, sun and moon. And today we focus on the Vyana Maya Kosha, the wise, intuitive, creative witness realm. We have these five sheaths that make up um, one of these systems of our energetic anatomy, the koshas, the pancha koshas, the five koshas, that sort of spiral from the outside in, inside out. And in yoga nidra, we work with all of them. And it's very important for the yoga nidra journey that we work with all of them. That's how we help to clear out outdated patterns, how we facilitate nourishment in the body and the brain and connection to the spirit. But today we will spend a little more time in that creative, intuitive, wise witness. So please take care to make sure you are as comfortable as you can be. Support your head, your neck, cover your body with a blanket, cover your eyes with an eye pillow or a sleeve of a t-shirt. Do any wiggling, shifting to ensure you feel held, safe, supported. And then take a big breath in through the nose, fill your belly, fill your heart, hold the breath. And then sigh it completely out. And do that a couple more times. Take a big, big breath in. And then sigh it out. One more time, big, big breath. And sigh. Feel your body on the earth. Feel the parts of the body in contact with the floor or the surface you're resting upon. See if you can soften into the skull, the shoulder blades, the back of the pelvis, the heels. And then feel the front body open to the sky, maybe notice the temperature in the room on your skin, the texture, sensation of the blanket or clothing. Observe sound from the close sounds like my voice or your breath to the sounds in the room, outside the room, even out on the street, perhaps listening for the farthest sound. And then again, gradually pulling in from the farthest sound to the closer, closer, closer sounds until you settle on the sound of my voice, the sound of your breath. And the body will go to sleep, but we want to allow the consciousness to remain awake and aware as we move through this intuitive journey. And so maybe set that intention now to remain awake and aware in Yoga Nidra. Soften your jaw, your eyes, and then bring your attention to the space between your eyebrows. This is the chittakash, the seat of our consciousness, the seat of unlimited potential. And this is actually where we focus when we work with our creative intuitive body. This is the gateway. It's also where we begin to plant the seeds for the practice. But for a moment, just breathe into the space between the eyebrows. Imagine you could feel it pulse or expand and contract. For imagination is an important resource for intuition. So focus your attention at the space between the eyebrows as the body drops in deeper. Feel that space pulse or just sense it. And it is here that we begin the practice of yoga nidra. As you feel into that space between your eyebrows, we set an intention, the sankalpa, 
And oftentimes we are already working with an intention that we want to carry through from practice to practice. Sometimes it's a spontaneous practice just for where we are. And for this maya, this kosha, it may be something like, I trust my intuition. I am creative. I welcome wisdom. I rest in the inner witness or anything like this that resonates. And whatever intention, whatever desire or longing feels most appropriate for you today as we rest into this space between the eyebrows, state it quietly to yourself as though you were dropping a coin in the wishing well of your third eye. Toss that in there intentionally three times and then let it go. And then feel the energy at that space between the eyebrows and imagine a golden star shimmering, warm. And then imagine that golden star sliding down to the hollow of your throat and then into your right shoulder, right elbow, right wrist, a golden star in your right thumb, index finger, middle finger, ring finger, pinky finger, feeling stars at the tips of your fingers in your right wrist, elbow, shoulder, the whole right arm with little stars, feeling back into the star at the hollow of your throat, and then placing a star in the center of your left shoulder, your left elbow, left wrist. Feel the star at the tip of your left thumb, index finger, middle finger, ring finger, pinky finger. Feel the stars in the tips of your fingers and in your left wrist, elbow, upper arm, the whole left arm, sensing the star at the hollow of your throat. A star appears at the center of your chest and a star at the right side of the chest, back to the star at the center, star to the left and back to the center. A star appears in your solar plexus and then at your navel center, a few inches below your belly button. A star appears in your right hip, right knee, right ankle, and a golden star at the tip of your big toe, second toe, third toe, fourth toe, pinky toe. Stars in the tips of your toes, your ankle, knee, hip, the whole right leg. Sensing the star, the navel center, a few inches below belly button. And the star in your left hip, left knee, left ankle, a star at the tip of your left big toe, second toe, third toe, fourth toe, pinky toe, sensing stars at the tips of your toes and up into your ankle, knee, hip, the whole left leg, feeling once more into your navel center and then placing a star right at the tailbone, right at the base of the pelvis, and then feel that star at the tailbone and the star at the navel center and the star at your solar plexus and the star at your heart, the hollow of your throat, the star pulsing at the space between your eyebrows and a star at the crown of your head, feeling your whole spine activated by these golden stars, your whole spine, feeling both legs, both arms, feeling the right side of your body lit up like a constellation, the left side of your body lit up like the night sky, the back of the body, the front of your body, Feel your right arm and left leg. 
And then your left arm and right leg. Feel your whole body, your body whole and illuminated. These warm, pulsing golden stars helping to clear the neural pathways to the brain as the body relaxes deeper. And as you feel the body relaxing deeper, bring your attention to your breath, wherever the breath is more obvious without force. So if you can sense your breath more effortlessly at your nostrils, your chest, your belly, just settle there and count back the breath, counting back the exhale. So allow your inhale, and as you exhale here, 10. And then again, allow the inhale, exhale, and here, nine. And just count back your exhale with each breath, just focusing where the breath is the most potent without changing anything. The body continues to rest. You are aware and alert, and you are counting back your exhale. Every exhale we count back, we grab a deeper layer, a layer deeper into our practice. If you get lost, come back to 10. If you get to zero, come back to 10. Just stay with counting back your exhales. And then let it go, let go of the count, feel into that space between your eyebrows. And as you feel into the space between your eyebrows, sense that awareness of wholeness, the wholeness of your body, of your breath. Just feel into the quality of wholeness as you breathe, as you sense the space between your eyebrows what it's like to feel the whole body, the whole breath, to feel wholeness as you rest at this space between the eyebrows. And as you settle into that wholeness, for a moment, allow yourself to call in the experience of dark. Whatever darkness brings up in your being from your third eye, let that flow out through your field whatever dark brings up, whatever sensations, textures, symbols, allow darkness to flow through you. And then call in light from your third eye point, connect to the quality of light, let light flood through your channels with the sensations, textures, colors, symbols that light brings. and then come back to dark. Letting darkness flow through you. Completely surrendering to the dark. And then the light emerges and the light floods through you from the third eye out through your whole being filled with light. And then come back to dark and keep the light. Allow darkness and light to integrate as is appropriate in your body. Where does the body settle into darkness? Where does the body awaken to light? And can you feel into a sense of wholeness as the dark and the light integrate? Can the integration of dark and light awaken that feeling of wholeness? For we are always both dark and light. And as you feel into that union, that wholeness, and drop deeper into the space between your eyebrows. And imagine that space between your eyebrows to be the night sky but the sky is full of clouds. And it's as though you were sitting and looking up at the sky, waiting for the clouds to part so that you could see the moon or the stars or 
as though you were searching for meteors. But right now, you're gazing at the dark night sky with full cloud coverage. Nowhere to go, nothing to do. Just allowing your body to rest, your breath to flow, feeling supported by the darkness, knowing the light is right behind the clouds. And then slowly, the clouds begin to part and you see a red rose, a red rose and then a golden egg, a golden egg. The ocean at sunset, the ocean at sunset, holding hands with a beloved, holding hands with a beloved, a broken teacup, a broken teacup your favorite holiday song, your favorite holiday song. A dark night sky, the crescent moon, the crescent moon. And you see yourself sitting under the crescent moon the sky is dark, the air is cold. The stars sprinkle through the sky. For the less moon, the more stars. And you feel yourself out in the winter under the stars, the coolness. You take in the darkness, maybe the trees that have lost their leaves, perhaps there's a dampness on the ground, on the earth, the smell of rain or snow. And you let yourself sit here in this dark night. And you begin to walk. You begin to walk. And suddenly you see a trail going into a dark wood. But you realize the more you are walking, your eyes are adjusting. And that there's really always light in nature. The stars, the moon, the outline of the trees. And so you start to move through the path in the woods rather easily as long as you take your time. You might notice shadows or sounds. You might feel a quickening of the heart anticipation or fear, you know you are not alone, but you continue to follow the light through the trees and it begins to get brighter and brighter. And as you move through the woods, you come to a clearing where there is a fire. And someone is sitting near the fire, but their face is obscured by the dark. And even though a part of you feels caution, another part knows it's okay. And that warm fire is calling you. And as you get closer and closer, the face looks up and it's a face you recognize. Someone that you trust, someone that is either still living or has moved beyond. They are a guide a teacher, a trusted friend, and they welcome you to the fire. And you sit around it like old friends and confidants, getting warm, your heart warms at the sight of this guide, this guardian, this friend, this ally. And you sit and talk, feeling more comfortable, feeling more supported. And then it gets quiet as you watch the flames and the night sky with the crescent moon still above, the outline of the trees. And then your friend begins to speak. They speak about whatever is weighing on your heart right now, whether it's something very intimate or something global, they know exactly what's weighing you down. 
and hearing their words, your heart begins to lighten. And they invite you to ask any questions you might have or share any fears or thoughts that you have been maybe unwilling to express in any other setting. This is a safe place. And as you talk, the fire swirls as though it is drawing in your words, burning away your worries, your stress, the weight, the doubt, transforming and purifying it. And you and your friend talk, listen, and they comfort and offer you guidance. There is no rush, there is nowhere to go. You can speak about anything in your heart and it's as though they already know what it is and they are here for it, for you. And the fire continues to swirl on your words in the same way that it burns up the leaves and the wood. And with every word, every syllable, every breath, you feel lighter and lighter, more supported. And then eventually it is quiet again. And your friend invites you to simply gaze at the flames. For the flames have a gift for you. It might be in a symbol, a color, a word, a shape. But you gaze at the flames until the gift emerges. And then you sit with the gift, you sit with your friend and you allow yourself to just settle here, supported by this ally, with the fire and your friend, by the dark sky, the stars, the moon, the trees. You allow yourself to see whatever else is ready to be revealed in this space and the stars, the trees, the fire. Trusting whatever arises as another gift from your intuition, from your wisdom. And you can always come back here. But your friend tells you that it's time to go and you say your goodbyes maybe making plans to meet again around this winter fire you offer your gratitude to the fire holding that gift close to your heart and then you begin to go back down the path and the path gets darker and darker but you know the way and you trust the guidance of the night and you move out through the path, through the path, back to the opening where you began. And as you step out, you hear the sound of your sankalpa, the intention from the beginning of the practice. It reverberates through you three more times, sealing in this intuitive, visual practice. And then all the images swirl away. All the images fade. And you are simply resting, wrapped in the cocoon of your journey, resting in the powerful space of your third eye. You just rest in this space a little bit longer, feeling the life the potential, the unlimited possibility that is always here. The practice is now complete, but you are welcome to continue to rest as long as you want.
when you're ready, you might start to wiggle, stretch deep in your breath. Feel your fingers and your toes, maybe rub your thumb against each finger. You can curl to one side, a big stretch, bigger movements to carry you up to sit. And when you find your seat, you bring your hands up and rub your palms to create a little warmth. And then with closed eyes, place your hands over your eyes, just nourishing that intuitive space, your vision. And then slide your hands down to your heart or on your body in a way that feels good. And I'd like to seal the practice with the seed sound for the third eye point for the sixth chakra. That sound is sham, S-H-A-M. So you can just listen or you can join me and chant. Take a big breath in. Sham. Hari Om Tat Sat. Namaste.